Looks good, man. Hello, this is the Titan. Hi. David Kirkland with the Spirit of Texas. I need some help. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, uh, do me a favor, close the door, okay? And have a seat. I got something important to talk to you about. What's up? Hey, so you've been doing pretty good with your programming. Doing a lot of aluminum jobs, making it happen, using the Autodesk software. How is it? Uh, it's good. Yeah, I've been yeah. using it every day, no problems. But you haven't jumped into titanium yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Dana programmed two of these jobs. He's running one of them, he's got Stuart. You know, with this huge ink canal job that I got for the aerospace company, like they have a line down situation. So I'm like busy trying to get these things out the door. So I'm hoping that you will step up and actually help me out with this titanium part right here. Yeah. All right, it's a huge deal. I really appreciate it and I'm not gonna let you down. No, I am so proud of you, Chris. Like you come in here this time and you're just a different person. And it's not because you're my son, it's because you put that time in because you're hungry, you're going after it. That's why you're getting this opportunity. Yeah, and I appreciate it. All right, man, let's do this. I'm let's get go it done pull today. it up. Cool, man, let's yeah. go pull up the drawing. So right now I'm programming the quadrant plate part for the drag racing boat. I'm programming it on Autodesk Inventor. I'm gonna start off with a half inch Imco end mill and I'm gonna take it around the part and profile the part. It's titanium material, so we have to take smaller cuts. We can run it at a pretty high feed rate, but we gotta be delicate with our step overs. And it's gonna work its way around, eventually come around the part, get it to size. Then I'm gonna come with a big old core bore drill and plow through this diameter. So once I take the toe clamps off and put it at the top of the part, I'm gonna take a 3 8 Enco end mill and I'm gonna hog out all this material in here, get all that taken out, and then I'm gonna take a finished Enco end mill and get it all nice and finished up. Hey, Sean, I got this part, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I finally got it finished. I need you to check it out and uh, make sure it's good on the CMM. Neither of us getting to go home. Nah, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> so it's been a long day. Sean signed off my part, got it done. There were some little bumps here and there, but it came out good. I asked my dad for an opportunity to program some titanium, and I nailed it. Any job they give me, I know I'm gonna hit it out the park because I'm willing to put the work in. Tomorrow, my dad's going to Texas. Man, they look good, but we can look at them all day. Let's get them on the boat. Yes, let's, let's do, do it. it. Awesome. All right. In the sport of drag boat racing, it's quite a bit different than other motorsports. Uh, when we go to the launch ramp and we're ready to make a run, we literally take our driver, put him in the boat, and launch him in the water. Once that happens, he's on his own. Anytime you have a part that fail at that speed, it's, you have the potential of total disaster. Every part has to be perfect. This is the run, you back it up, you guys got that record. Right, right, right. Is he on the inside or the outside? Outside. Come on. Yeah. How about that? We got that record. I, I don't have anything to say. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how you top the year. Scotty Lumber and crew, the guy goes out and wins a championship. He wins the world finals, sets mile per hour records. This is huge for us. You know, th this is a storybook year. We got us another world finals win. <laughs>